guys, Grave here. Welcome back to Division 2. And today I want to talk quickly about the global event, the reanimated event, which started yesterday in the Division 2. A lot of people were curious about this. Uh, what exactly was it going to be? Was uh, were, were the enemies going to come back as zombies, which would have been pretty awesome. I mean, it's kind of that same concept. They don't look any different or anything like that. But once you defeat an enemy, they will go down and they can reanimate and come back to life. Once they come back to life, they're not going to have that full health bar on. They're going to have a green health bar over them, so you can kind of tell who is reanimated and who is not. And then, then once again, you can defeat that enemy again. Now, anytime before or after they're reanimated, if you kill them with a headshot, they will automatically kind of explode into this green mist. You don't have to worry about them getting up then. But it is a pretty neat event. Uh, it does keep you on your toes because you may down some enemies and not think about it. They will get back up behind you, start shooting you in the back. So it, it's a pretty neat event. It's pretty... A pretty cool idea, I think, overall. Now, it would have been awesome, like I said, if they would have all stood up into zombies. That would have been insane, but that would have been a lot of work uh, to be able to do something like that. But this event does bring daily challenges. Now, as you can see, this is yesterday's daily challenges for day one. I have them all completed, but one of the challenges. Of course, this is day two challenges that I just, I just now have logged in. So, of course, now I've just seen these. Of course, tomorrow we'll get day three, and the next day we'll get day four challenges. As you can see over here on the left in the summary, we do have five days and 20 hours remaining. I will say some of these challenges take some time. As you can see today, one is eliminate non-reanimated -re hostiles with headshots. And that is 200 total. And of course, burn reanimated enemies or uh, reanimated hostiles. There's 100 total of that. These do take a while. It's not something you can just hop on. And you know, if you're kind of waiting towards to the end of the event or till the end of the event and hope you can hop on and get all these days completed, you're probably going to need to play each day and try to get much of this done as you can because it does take a bit to do all of these things. Now, you can uh, deactivate and reactivate this at any time you want as long as you are in a safe area. Some people may not want to do this re reanimated event while they're playing some harder missions, maybe like on Heroic or Legendary. That does get kind of annoying having to fight stuff over and over again if you don't headshot at all. So just keep in mind, if you are uh, in a safe area, you can uh, activate and deactivate the event overall. And also don't forget the home league event is still going on for another five days and 20 hours as well. This is the event that started last week. I'm just kind of curious what you guys think about these events that the, has been added into the division two. A lot of games have gone to this kind of live service thing where they start adding events, adding battle passes, adding things into the game, just in general to keep people coming back and to keep people playing week in and week out and give them something a little bit different to do. And like I said in the past video uh, that I made about the Division 2, is it worth playing in 2020? I've been away from the game for a long time. I have not played in almost a year. Uh, I played a good bit when it first came out, several months, and then I kind of stepped away. So being able to play these events and, and be able to hop back into the game and experience different stuff is enjoyable for me. If you've played for a long time, I can understand why that might be different. You might not feel that the same way about that. But if you are new or if you're like me and you are returning to the game, it is definitely something to do. And one th other thing before I forget, you do get some rewards for this, as you can see in the reward section. Not a lot of great things here until you get down to this tier 9. Once you're here, you do get an exotic cash, which will give you, uh, of course, an exotic of some sort. So, once again, if you haven't played in a while or you're new to the game, you're at least going to get a guaranteed exotic out of this box which is a good thing for a lot of people that, you know, may not have the luck that some people have when they get drops of exotics just kind of out in the world or during missions. Anyway, guys, leave me your thoughts about all of these events. Leave me your thoughts about the reanimated event. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, it does help out a lot. So please do that. And also check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.